Hi everyone, welcome back to another function. This is Krish Barna. If you have the first time, I'm a computer science student at University of Illinois at Chicago and I'm currently minoring in entrepreneurship. Today I'll be talking about data structures and how the entire class was structured for us and what are some of the key takeaways that I would like take from the class and also few things about some tips for anybody who want to take data structures in your future. So welcome back to my channel and let's get started and before that if you're here for the first time please also do subscribe to this channel because almost 85% of the people who come here are just watching the video and leaving so please do subscribe and also thank you so much for the support for the last video and I wish you all a very happy Christmas and Merry Christmas so let's get started. this is a really special class for me because I've improved my logic and then I've also understood what is memory mapping and how memory mappings work and I also worked with classes a lot of classes this semester and I was able to differentiate between stocks and classes and it was a full and wholesome journey because working with linked list trees graphs maps whatnot I mean it was like a full length journey so I think I should tell you with how it all started uh, this was a 15 week course uh, we all started the first week with what is like the basics of uh, abstractions. So we started with vectors and then I worked on a project which was completely focused on vectors where I've done vector implementations with struct and it was really wonderful because I learned a lot about vectors uh, in the first two weeks and then I've done a project on maps, tags and queue which was another uh, interesting layer because I was able to completely understand how the abstractions work and it was really fun using abstractions and later on I learned the abstractions have the underlying implementations of uh, data structures and this is when the data structures has actually started and the memory process has started. For my project 3 I have actually worked with memory on the heap so basically all the memory allocation has started from project 3. So for this I have worked with arrays and then for my fourth project I have worked with uh, linked list and that was really fun because I was working with pointers. I have never used those many pointers before, but this was the first time I started to use a lot, lot pointers. And I was also able to understand the entire concept of pointers after this project. And my fifth project where I actually wrote the implementation for priority queue, that was a very interesting project. At the same time, it was the most challenging one because I have to understand how binary tree with added pointers work so that was really challenging and really interesting at the same time I've really enjoyed uh, priority queue uh, or making priority queue and then for my sixth project I worked with hash maps that's altogether another great journey because I was working with encryption and decryption and I have completely loved hash maps I have my own complaint around my own favoritism for hash maps but that was one of the best uh, projects that I've worked and for project 7 I've actually worked with uh, graphs that was really really fun because I was able to actually make uh, a map coordinator in UIC which tells the direction so that was really fun too so it was all together a full length ex uh, it was a full length experience I was able to experience everything in the semester I mean I've learned the better ways to solve a problem and then now I can even like write problems faster uh, or I can actually solve them faster than what I've done in like the first project. So I feel like it was like a whole some journey and I'm really happy that I got an A in this class because it was my dream to get an A in data structures uh, from the day I heard about data structures and I think finally it all happened. So that in that way data structures is a very special class according to grade and according to concepts. And also there are some times which I really felt data structures was the hardest class but I think some techniques uh, for data structures has really helped me. One of them is memory mapping. Um, I used to draw a lot. I mean, I used to make sure like each and every diagram that I draw made sense to me. I used to write a lot of pseudo code before starting a project. So that was actually the fun part for each and every project. I've done seven projects and all seven projects has taught me something new and it always helped me as a programmer. So I, there's no way that I can forget these seven projects. And I'm not gonna say it was an easy process, but I finally learned a lot so in that way data structures is really special so what are some tips that I can give to somebody so one of the main tip that I would give somebody is practice 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 so personally uh, for this class I had asynchronous lectures so the lectures were already uploaded so the pattern that I followed was I used to look at all the slides before actually 
listening to the lecture. So I used to watch uh, all the lecture slides and I used to take some notes and then I used to watch the video and then I used to take some other notes. So that basically made like two, uh, two versions of uh, understanding a problem or understanding the concept. And then I used to go to live lectures where we discussed even more, we used to draw a lot, we used to discuss some key components uh, which are out of the box for the class. In that way, the lectures, the live lectures really helped us a lot. And for number four, the labs. The labs were really huge part for this entire class. So that was basically like my fourth revision and then the projects. And then I used to do a lot of experimenting with what I can. So practice is what made me better at uh, understanding data structures. And I've really enjoyed that. Try a problem with different uh, data structures. Maybe you're too used to doing it in array. Maybe try it in linked list. Maybe try it in a tree. Maybe try it in a graph. I mean, try different stuff. You never know what might give you a best solution because depending on the time and space complexity, everything will change. So try it with different data structures and see what might work better for each and every um, problem. Third one is draw. I mean, draw as much as you can because when you draw something, I guess, you can visualize it much better and also when we are working with a lot of memory, I think memory mapping is something which is really, really, really important because we can understand how each and every memory space has been allocated and like how it will like be like working. And also when we are actually clearing at the end also it will make sense because we know what um, like everything that we need to free or else it's basically going to be like going into like infinite loop or it might probably kill a lot of memory. So. That's something which is really, really important. So try to draw it out, try to pseudo code, like make sure your memory is clearly on the paper so you know what, what you're actually doing. Understand time and space complexity. I mean, that is one of the major reasons why I believe everybody need to take data structures. Once we really understand the time and space complexity, I think you'll really be like very particular about like every single line that we write. Especially when I was in like the previous classes, I was like always, open on like writing the nested for loops but once I'm like in data structures I really started to think uh, twice before writing a nested for loop because I really don't want to make my big O to be like O n squared I really want to give the best time complexity because I really don't want to run out of other times so I was like I started to get very particular with it so try to read the time complexity try to understand how uh, time complexity were major uh, data structures I mean, if you really understand it for uh, data structures, I think it should also work for abstractions because they're pretty much the, the same implementation under the hood. So I think understand how this entire part is working. So I think you can write code much faster and much efficient. Projects. Projects are something which are really, really, really important because they'll help you understand the concept in a much detailed manner. When we're working on project, we really know like what is the best approach for any given uh, scenario so that is something which i think i really want to tell everybody because i know like not everybody like have the same structure or have seven projects in data structures or some people might have even more projects but they might really not able to cover all the key concepts so try doing whatever you can try like different scenarios read them like understand them see what might give you a better solution i mean there are times where i had chances of using an unordered map or a map, I chose to use a map for my own reasons for the certain project. So I think it all depends on the kind of um, project that you're doing and like, I think when you're coding, there can be a lot of experimenting too with the projects. So these are the five things that I really wanted to tell everyone. So that's the story for today. So thank you so much for watching the video. To everybody who thinks coding is really hard, I just want to end this video on one single note. It's okay if there are problems in your code. It's okay if your code is not running. It's okay if you're making problems in your code. But the more you practice, the better you get at it. Try and try until you like, solve every problem. Try looking at the bugs that you've created. Try like different uh, approach for your problem. Maybe try a different logic for your problem. There's no end. You can always learn. You can always do better. Because coding is not just stopping. Coding is about exploring. That's the video for today. Thank you so much. See you all very soon. Until then, signing off. This is Krishna Bhavna. See you next week.